today we're going to be talking about home beauty benefits and it's exactly like what the title says wherever it is down there up there it's basically going to be all the benefits that you can get from making your own beauty product i've got a few bits here that i have made which i'm going to show you and tell you what's in them and what properties and what health benefits you can get from it we're going to pick my favorite product easy so so cheap to make it's ridiculous and that is this is a homemade brown sugar scrub with sweet almond oil sugar scrubs are much better for your skin than store-bought just normal exfoliating most exfoliating scrubs and things like that as you scrub it in whether your face or your arms or your body or wherever the little exfoliating bits I don't know what it's called they can as they unclog your pores as they're cleaning but then they clog more pores and they can over exfoliate your skin and I know I used to use one that I thought was amazing and it would leave my skin feeling great and perfect but I used to break out after it and I never knew why I read online that sugar scrubs are much better because the sugar dissolves as you rub it into your skin so it's not as harsh so I just searched online and, and they big came up homemade sugar scrub that simple I had the brown sugar already in and I just had to nip to the store to buy my sweet almond oil which for those living in England you can buy from Wilkinson's for two pounds for like a huge bottle it's a bit dramatic but it's not that big sweet almond oil is so good for your entire body not just your face you can use it in your hair all over your skin sweet almond oil can also be used as a cleanser and a makeup remover and just you can put it straight onto your skin it's just a nice moisturizer oil thing just jump straight into the next one which is my next favorite which as you can tell there's hardly any left of this and this <coughs> I've talked about before in my skincare yays and nays video which I will link down there if you're interested in watching this is just normal um, filtered water that's what it is bottled water whatever with a few drops of tea tree oil in it's tea tree oil is packed full of antibacterial properties and it's just perfect I don't know if it's actually made that much of a difference to my skin but it feels like it is and that's all that matters to me I've been trying so many different skin products lately that I'm not quite sure what it is that is working for my skin it might be this I don't know but this is really good match these two together because they're pretty much got the same things in and these are are you ready for this this is very cute this is a little teddy bear massage lotion bar with oats it didn't really work was making it and homemade body butter which I spoke about in my December favourites so I'm not going to talk about this too much if you want to see my thoughts on this I will link my December favourites down there and check it out but this massage lotion bar is just it's literally just what it sounds like you literally just rub it onto your skin and it's like you're rubbing body water on without the mess of it going all over your hands these have got I've got the list now are you ready for this these have got shea butter mango butter cacao butter and coconut oil in it smells good it's got vanilla and orange extract in it too I'm going to read from my list because I'm not going to remember all these to tell you them but we're just going to roll these off are you ready shea butter is good for dry skin rashes blemishes wrinkles rough skin, cold weather, stretch mark prevention, healthy skin and muscle aches. Mango butter is good for restoring flexibility, wrinkles, dry skin, blemishes, rough skin, muscle aches. Yes, um, you get the picture. Cacao butter is high in antioxidants, good for skin aging, stretch marks, hydrates skin and is good for skin irritations. Coconut oil softens hair, removes makeup, dries hands, clears dead skin cells and has anti-aging properties. <gasps> Did you catch that? I was obsessed with body butters for a very long time, like store-bought ones, and I always thought they were really good, but since using these completely natural, organic ones, it's just the difference is... I wasn't expecting it to be much different. I just thought, oh, it'll be nice to use things with no chemicals in. But now I've used it. I don't want to use normal store-bought body butters. This is rose water I honestly 
only just discovered this a couple of weeks ago. I was watching. Sorry, my memory card got full. Mel MPHS talked about this in one of her videos a while ago. I can't remember, remember which one it is. And she just raved about it and said it was a really good cleanser. I looked for it, I think it was like £20 from Boots. And I was like, oh, I can't, that's a lot of money. So, as always, I googled how to make your own rose water. And ta-da! You literally buy some roses, you boil them up, strain them, and what you're left with is the rose water. I use it at night after I've done my normal nighttime routine. I use this right before I go to bed. And the colour that comes off on the cotton pad is so disgusting. Like, even though I've just washed and cleansed all my face ready for bed, I quickly do it with some rose water, and it, like, comes off black, which is disgusting, and also shows that you can buy all these expensive facial cleansers and facial tonic things, and all you need is to boil up some rose petals in a pan. That's my opinions and what I have on homemade beauty products, I am really interested and intrigued to find out more. If you want to learn how to make a lot of homemade beauty, not just skincare, but makeup and lip balms and things like that, you need to go and check out Anna Shine. I will link her videos down there and her blog and she's just, it's where I got the ideas from to think homemade beauty. She's incredible. Thank you for watching and make sure you come back on Wednesday for a new video and yeah, make sure that you subscribe so you won't miss it and I will see you then.